How's it going, guys? My name is C. Nen Nerds. That is correct. I am an alien orange mohawk beast. And I know you may be asking yourself, what is this? Why are you an alien? Don't worry, I will explain everything. So this is Defiance. This is a, a game that's coming out uh, in the not too distant future. And this game is a massive co-op boss battle, lots of weapons with thousands of upgrades, and you battle for survival across the plains of future Earth. Boom. Dropping all that knowledge. I'm making it rain knowledge on your cranium receptacles. That's your face. I'm I'm dropping knowledge on your face. I'm I'm really good at this voiceover stuff. <laughs> but yeah, I thought this game was kind of cool because it runs in tandem to the Sci-Fi Channel show. And I'm pretty sure there's no subscription fees for the uh, whole online experience. And in general, yeah, I mean, you can check it out if you want. I think it comes out April 2nd. But if I'm incorrect, in the description below, you'll see a link to the game and or when it comes out. And uh, yeah, that's all that knowledge. Peep it. Check it and see. I'm hot-blooded. I got a fever of 103. You're welcome. I'm the hippity-hop, non-stop into the break of dawn voiceover guy. <laughs> I'm real smooth. But uh, just got back from PAX. Got back from PAX. And this is the first year that I've actually not worked at all, which is totally cool. The last three years I've done something. As you guys know, worked at Machinima for a bit. Now I'm solo, kind of doing my own thing. And I didn't have a camera in front of me this year, which was great. It wasn't like, welcome to PAX 2013. The games are hot, hot, hot. The weather's cold, cold, cold. Because <laughs> it's Boston. It's freezing. There's this white stuff on the ground. Not a fan. Not a fan of what you call snow. I live in uh, uh, California. Bikini babes and and beaches. California. <laughs> Tourism. But uh, I was thinking a lot over the weekend because I was kind of just chilling, relaxing, having a good time. And I started to notice that a lot of people tend to be very uncomfortable in their own skin. Now, I don't know if this is just like the gaming space, the internet, the uh, comic book nerdish air quotes, nerd culture, because apparently gaming is nerdy, which is really weird to me because my mom and my, my sister and everyone I know plays video games, and I don't know at what point things are going to shift and change, because to be quite honest, all the people that I've ever met at Comic-Con or PAX or even E3, well, E3 is a little bit more business-oriented, but in general, everybody is really nice, although having said that, I worry that a lot of people don't realize how awesome they really are. They don't really respect themselves and say, hey, look, I'm a great person. Because it's it's weird. I think like this confidence tends to sort of beat people down. And, and I see the people at these events, and I'm like, you're really cool. Like, of all the people I've ever met, I don't think I've ever been like, wow, what a douche. This guy is so awful. Like, there's some people that are really awkward. But in general, I worry that good people don't know they're good people. And they tend to sort of abuse themselves and, and feel bad about themselves and, and it's weird I just want to like hug people and be like I like you a lot <laughs> you're cool because I remember what it's like to be 18 I remember what it's like to be 21 or 25 like as time goes on you get better and better and better and you ultimately become a more well-rounded version of yourself and I guess the question is how does one become better more confident and uh, to be quite frank it's just being positive being positive is like the ultimate solution for everything. If you are simply positive and you look on the brighter side of things, you're going to be a happier person. I know a lot of people tend to fixate on things that are just really obnoxious. Trust me, I live in L.A. So everyone's like, oh, oh, the traffic. I can't believe I'm driving. Oh, it sucks. <laughs> I know everybody wants to default to negativity and you can't do that. You can't look at uh, life in a way that just makes you feel like icky all the time. You just have to think about cool things, things that make you happy, things that make you a more positive person. Christ, think about bunnies or something. Like, think about a bunny like wearing like an astronaut suit. That's adorable. Holy crap, that's adorable. It's like jumping around and it's like trying to jump into space, but it can't because it's only a bunny. <laughs> Boom. I already started the seeds of happiness. They have been sown. But uh, let me know what you guys think. You guys give me your feedback, your thoughts, your opinions. And if you're feeling generous, give this video a like, a favorite, a stamp of approval. I don't know. Whatever you got, just help me out because I would very much appreciate it. And uh, yeah, that'll do it for today. I want to thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys later.